Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a few new things that are new in the June 2016 update for Adobe InDesign CC. That's right, all new updates today and I'm happy to show you many of my favorites uh, and especially when it comes to performance. So let's start there here in InDesign CC. So I've got InDesign CC open, I've got a nice document open, nice design. And as I scroll through, I, I see some refreshing. Uh, if I see an area that I want to zoom in on, uh, I can either click or I can drag a um, box around what I want to zoom in on and it will jump to it. And this is the experience we're used to in Adobe InDesign. However, InDesign got a makeover under the hood. It got some of the things that you know, we're, we're, we've, um, we now take for granted in Illustrator CC. Illustrator CC got this kind of update last year where it was all about performance, taking advantage of your GPU, your graphics processor, um, and speeding up the application across the board. Now I've got it turned off. That's why we were seeing the old behavior. But now if I go in and I click on this little rocket, the rocket, which is on by default for you, uh, I can go in and just turn on the GPU performance and get an animated zoom. And when I click OK, it's just on now. So for example, as I scroll, oops, now everything's more fluid. I don't see nearly the um, amount of refreshing that I saw. And again, when I want to zoom in on something, I can still click. But more importantly, I get this live fluid zoom that we're now used to in Photoshop and Illustrator. It has now made its way to InDesign. So moving around, doing things in InDesign should just be faster all the way around. Also, you'll notice, uh, and maybe you won't notice, but it'll just be more pleasing to your eye, is that the panels have been redesigned to take advantage of high DPI displays. So even if you're on a, um, a 4K display and where things tend to get tiny, now InDesign is more friendly for displays that are very high resolution uh, where graphics and everything and the panels themselves will look nice and crisp. Um, one of the things I'll point out here, even though it's not a new feature, but it has it has graduated from a technology preview and has made its way into the application full time. And that is the publish online feature. That's the ability to take a document like this. And if I do click the publish online, it'll bring up a dialog box guiding me through the process of publishing this document as a online HTML5 based web page um, that people will be able to see any animations that I create in InDesign. They'll be able to walk through the document, play any movies that I've embedded, and basically view the document online. Now, of course, this isn't, this isn't for creating websites. This is for publishing documents online in a more uh, modern format than, say, a PDF. Uh, people can look at it in any browser, on any device. They don't have to worry about having a plug-in or anything like that to see it. And again, it's all HTML5 based. So check out the Publish Online feature, which has now made its way in full-time into, or a regular feature into InDesign CC. All right, the next thing that I want to show you uh, revolves around the Adobe uh, stock workflow. Now, I'm a fan of Adobe Stock, and I'm a contributor as well, so I can sell my own photos and artwork there. Um, but as I zoom through this surfing guide here, um, you can imagine that, you know, maybe you did a photo shoot for this guide, but what if you run out of pictures? Meaning, you used all the pictures you liked in the shoot, and you need one more. So that's my, that might be a case where you turn the stock instead of sending the staff out to go shoot just one more picture. So in this case, I'm going to go to my CC libraries. I've got um, a, an Adobe stock panel open here. I'm just going to go ahead and search for uh, surfing. And of course, um, that should start rendering results from Adobe stock. And I'll see them here in the panel in just a second. But before even we see the ones that are popping up just now, You'll notice that there's this uh, twirl down. This is brand new in the desktop applications. When I twirl this down, I can filter. Now, right now, there's no filter, which means I'm seeing everything. But if I want to filter just on photos, 
Meaning, don't show me illustrations, don't show me vectors, don't show me drawings or sketches, just show me photos. Or, maybe I want to filter on video, because Adobe Stock now has video. So I can actually license a video and bring that video in to my uh, design, since InDesign supports video. So, very cool to be able to do this directly in uh, Adobe InDesign CC. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to photos. I can do photos or videos or photos and videos. But now that I've got it here, I can scroll through and I can say, hey, uh, this one's kind of cool. Let me go ahead. But I'm not sure if we'll like it yet. So let's go ahead and just simply uh, save a preview. Now, when I save a preview, that will sync that preview to my existing library. I have a library actually called Adobe Stock. And when it syncs the preview there, um, you'll notice that I now have the ability to use it in my document. All right, so let's say that I want to use this um, preview. I want to test it. I want to see it. Well, I can either create a frame first in InDesign or just simply drag it in. Uh, when I drag it in, I get the place gun to place this anywhere I want. So I can place it a little bit off the edge here and just go ahead and scale it and size it to fit. Uh, and that will bring the preview in, and I can use this preview anywhere that I want uh, in the document. Now, again, this is, it's got the watermark on it because we haven't licensed this image, which brings me to my favorite new thing about working with Adobe Stock and InDesign. And that is, you notice that little shopping cart icon, that little license icon right there? Well, that is now uh, a new item in Adobe InDesign that displays over any previews. So not only do you get the ability, and by the way, that's only when it's selected. So that won't um, show in a PDF or the print. You'll still see the watermark and the, and the file number, but you won't see that icon. When it is selected though, if I like this image, I don't have to worry about going to finding it again in the library or looking for it or anything like that. I can now license directly on the canvas. So as soon as I see an image that I really, I, you know, I've placed it, I've sized it, I've PDF'd it, everyone likes it, I can say, look no further, let's just go ahead and license that, that uh, image right here on the fly. And uh, it's now syncing the high res version of that, which will be unwatermarked and of course, um, no file number. So now that is the actual image ready to go in my document with no extra effort for me. And of course I can still crop it, still size it, still put it anywhere else that I need it to be in any other documents. And of course, since it's in my CC library, that means it's accessible to me in all my other Adobe applications as well as my mobile apps. So that's just a few of the updates in Adobe InDesign CC uh, for the June 2016 update. And I hope you like what you see. I do. And it's just going to make working in InDesign that much faster and that much easier than it was yesterday. That's it, guys. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>